Round 12 of the Cross GT Racing My Team Career Mode Journey in F1 2021 brings us to Sochi for the Russian Grand Prix. It is still very tight at the top of the Drivers' Championship table. Verstappen is only six points clear of us now after his DNF in Monza, giving us uh, a healthy 26 point gain on him in the standings. Uh, we're coming off our third win in a row, so looking to carry that momentum into this race. Uh, we were pushing quite hard, as you can see we were uh, right up the front there with Max. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were, pre we were P1 and P2 for most of the race, um, bar the uh, obvious changes in position due to pit stops. Um, but we were effective P1 and P2 for the majority of the race. It was pretty tight. Uh, there weren't really times where uh, either of us were well ahead or well behind the other. And then it did eventually turn into um, essentially a one-on-one uh, -on -one race between the two of us. Uh, as you can see, P3, I think that might have been uh, either uh, Perez or Bottas maybe, uh, were uh, quite a distance behind us. Uh, and it just gave us uh, all the space that we needed to carry on our championship fight which uh, has actually been going on for pretty much most of the season it's been neck and neck between myself and Max um, constructors a little bit different Red Bull uh, quite a bit clear of us there still mathematically and with a chance to take the constructors but it's going to be a lot of work for us to try and pull that out uh, we did end up crossing the line P1 to take to our fourth win in a row gaining uh, the few extra points we needed over Max and we head into round 13 the American Grand Prix with a two point lead in the championship over Max so still everything to play for at this point four races left in the season and only two points between the top two drivers uh, I think mathematically Pierre Gasly who's in P3 in the championship I think he is in with a chance but he basically has to um, win every race and have myself and Max gain no more points in the championship which uh, is almost an impossibility at this point but we're at qualifying now uh, going out for our, our first lap our banker lap uh, we pretty much went out straight away uh, this isn't a, one of my strong tracks, in fact this is probably uh, arguably the worst track on the calendar for me. Uh, even though the difficulty says that it's um, that track difficulty is easy or very easy, I actually have a lot of trouble uh, with this maintaining uh, the correct racing line. Uh, I did practice quite a bit before recording this race, um, trying out different setups and stuff, uh, and I was pretty happy with the setup uh, that I went with for this race we do put in a, a decent job. banker lap at 132.7 um, but there was probably a little bit uh, not not a fluke but there's a little bit of luck on my side with that one uh, as we weren't able to uh, improve in the next couple of laps uh, and then I just completely missed the apex at turn one uh, which I've always had problems with luckily though our banker lap holds up Two tenths clear of Perez in P2, Gasly in P3, Verstappen back in P4, but still a danger from there. Schumacher's in P8, so hopefully he can gain some points today and help us possibly get closer to claiming the Constructors' Championship. Here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself, 14 miles southeast of the city centre and home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honour. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas, overtaking opportunities into turn 1 and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track. And we should see average lap speeds of around 126 miles per hour. 
Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. The captain lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, and Sainz, Michael Schumacher, Leclerc. So there is the uh, relevant start part of the starting grid. Schumacher jumping ahead into P7 uh, due to a um, grid penalty for George Russell, which will help him out. Other than that, no changes to um, the starting lineup at the, at the front of the grid. Five red lights gone, and we are off and away for the uh, US Grand Prix at the Circuit of the Americas here. Not a very good start from us. Perez jumps into P1. Verstappen and Gasly also both overtake us. We take the long way around at Turn 1. We're side by side with Max. We managed to get on the inside of him and back up into P3. So not a great start from us. Uh, a win here would be great uh, heading into uh, the last three races of the season. It's going to be a, a tough job to get a win here. Uh, but the main part of the strategy for us today is to just finish ahead of Max. We're only two points clear. There's four races left. Every point counts. So if we can... Just make sure that we finish ahead of him and not make any uh, any mistakes trying to go for a win. We just want to maintain a decent point advantage over him so that come the end of the season he has uh, a bigger mountain to try and climb to take the championship from us. But we've uh, settled into a little bit of a rhythm here. We go around the outside of Gasly in that uh, long double right hander there. This long sweeping left though, well not long sweeping left, but the sort of tight uh, sweeping left hand has always been uh, an issue for me. Um, just trying to get the right line and then trying to uh, not jump on the power too early. Um, just because it's a really easy corner to spin on. So, uh, did a decent job there, we've managed to jump back up into P2. Uh, eight tenths to Gasly now. Verstappen back in P4. Following along behind Perez now, we just want to try and hold on to uh, the, I guess, DRS advantage for, for this lap. DRS will be uh, activated next lap, and we miss pretty much every single apex heading through um, those uh, through those S's there, and just missing every apex. As I said, this. This track is definitely, uh, probably, I would have to say, the worst track for me on the calendar. Luckily, uh, our car is is pretty quick. The setup I've got, uh, I'm I feel really comfortable with. So even though we are missing these apexes, we're not um, we're not losing touch to Perez. Uh, as you can see, we are gaining on him on the straight. So we do have a car set up for speed. Um, and it's set up for, for taking the corners as well, but uh, luckily the car is fast enough that we are able to mitigate the losses in the corners um, and gain time on the straights. So, still clinging on to uh, a less than second gap to Perez, gaining a lot of time in that long right-hander. Easy to put the, just to put the foot down and, and turn that corner without really having to break. Uh, on these soft compound tires. We've now gone, we, well, we did momentarily gain um, uh, over a second gap to Gasly, which we want to try and maintain. The last thing we want is for him to have DRS and cling on to us because then Verstappen's going to ride the DRS and the slipstream on him to catch up to us. So we want to try and pull away here as we Managed to navigate these corners so much better that time. Hitting all those apexes. We're right behind Perez now. Purple through sector one. We're now only four tenths behind our current race leader. But he just has so much speed coming out of that final corner. Heading up over the hill. That he's able to pull away. And cutting back to, uh, to a questionable moment there from us. First uh, warning for track limits there. But we are, we're still uh, sitting in a pretty good spot. 
we're still less than a second to Perry's, which is good. Gasly is less than a second to us as well, so everyone uh, in a bit of a DRS train at the moment, uh, maintaining uh, the same gap to each driver in front and behind them, uh, which is which is okay for now. It's only the start of the race. It's only lap five. Still plenty of time to uh, open that gap and try and leave Max behind. But these tyres are starting to wear out a little bit. Starting to lock up in some of these corners a little bit more. And that is uh, only going to cause more problems the longer the stint goes on. We are... Oh, missed that apex by a lot. And that has now moved Perez out of DRS range. And Gasly is now right behind us. So, one mistake like that and it costs us so much time. Luckily we are able to um, fix that problem by going uh, better through the S's, but our second warning in two laps now. So we've now got two uh, track limit warnings and it's only lap six. Gonna have to drive a squeaky, squeaky clean race now uh, for the rest of the day. Perez is now out of DRS range, we're gonna have to try and rinse our battery to gain back some of that time. Gasly is closing in on us with that DRS that he's gained from us. But we managed to stay far enough ahead that he can't get back in front of us. Just having more problems now, these tyres are definitely wearing out. We're on a two stop strategy, so the team's now calling us in to go on to our second set of soft compound tyres. Uh, I'm not feeling overly confident with these softs as Gasly was looking at the inside at turn one. And we managed to just hold them off and uh, keep our track position. Uh, while that's happening, Perez is just flying. He's now three seconds ahead of us. And we are struggling. We are having so much trouble navigating this course. And Gasly is taking advantage of that now. Easy overtake there, the start of the RS uh, zone. No time okay, wasted focus. with we him. And now Verstappen is right on us. Our championship rival is now just clinging on to our slipstream. And we are now, uh, unfortunately, towing him along through this race. A big lockup from us heading into the sweeping left-hander. Verstappen takes a look up the inside. The door was wide open for him, but we managed to cut back across and just close the door on him. Heading into the pits now, these tyres are pretty much shot. Going on to a second set of soft compound tyres. We are going to come out um, close to the back of the pack now. Up to the, the left, the turn one left hander. We managed to stay ahead of Joe's right alongside us. Um, didn't really want to try too hard to get too many places back there. So just pick the spot and we've we missed one of the apexes there and Joe tried to go up the outside. We've now got a warning for a collision with him. I didn't even know he was coming, he came up so quick. So uh, that's luckily for us no damage. Uh, it doesn't look like Joe's taken any damage either. I think we just um, clipped wheels. So we might have some issues with tyre wear now. Uh, but we just want to make these softs last as long as we can. And then jump on to... Uh, I think a set of mediums was the, the call for, in the strategy. Uh, as I've documented in many races this season, the softs um, aren't my favorite, aren't my tire of choice, to be fair. As we go around the outside, or we'll try to go around the outside of Lungard at that left-hander. Uh, it turns on to the inside at the long right-hander. We're now right behind uh, his teammate, Nicholas Latifi, who closes the door on us, heading into uh, the second-to-last corner. And it looks like everyone else is now starting to make their way into the pits. Uh, our teammate Michael Schumacher is in the pits. And he will be going on to, I think he's going on to another set of softs as well. Looks like everyone's going to be doing a two-stop this race. And we have managed to come out, as we go around the outside of Latifi, he holds up Bottas. Bottas was coming out of the pit lane. He was actually in front of us, and we managed to go on the outside of Latifi and keep Bottas behind. So we've actually come out ahead of Bottas, uh, which is good. He was P5, I do believe, when we went into the pits. And Schumacher is just behind him, so Schumacher's essentially 
uh, effectively P6, sorry. Um, nudge our way past Schumacher there, who uh, could have kept us out there, uh, but thought better of it. He's not racing us, we're not racing him. Opened up that door, gave us the space, let us through, which uh, helps us out because now we can cling on to the DRS we're going to be getting from Ocon uh, and Hamilton as well in front of him. And we can start using that to try and uh, get ourselves further up the order as we go around the inside of Ocon. Uh, but who ends up jumping back in front of us, heading into the left-hander. Uh, Ocon, pretty aggressive there, as he has been throughout most of the season. We nudge the back of his car there, no damage luckily, but it does throw us off on a, a weird line, and we do run wide on that corner. Uh, luckily, no track limits warning. Now it looks like the rest of the uh, teams are heading into the pits. So now we've got some open space to play with. And the next driver up the road is our championship rival in Max Verstappen. But it looks like the Ferrari of, I think that might be Signs pulling out of the pit lane. Getting ahead of us, heading into turn one. But we do the switch back on him and get back in front of him around turn two. Or just before turn two. Purple through sector one. So we are starting to gain some time. Although Signs makes a... Big aggressive move down the inside heading into the tight left hander and onto the DRS straight. He's going to have DRS. He did have um, the advantage back. for that heading into the timing line. So he's got DRS thanks to us. and But we're just riding his slipstream and he's towing us along. Which is great because we need him to pull us along because Verstappen is three seconds up the road. So we need uh, every advantage we can get here. As we are now, I'm now trying to mirror Sainz's racing line there, but a little bit of uh, hesitation there caused us to go off the track a little bit. But we are, we are maintaining a decent pace throughout this race. Currently sitting P6, so we're still in the points. Verstappen's P4, so he's not gaining too many points on us if the race finished right now. But we do uh, want to get back in front of him. And it looks like following signs is the way to go. Verstappen is stuck behind, uh, I do believe, Gasly. I don't know who the other... Uh, yeah, one of these people. Yeah, Gasly and... Because I'm pretty sure Perez is up front. So Gasly and someone else is up there too. I can't quite make out who that is. And we just... We make up... Go up the inside of signs. And then a bit of a collision there. Quite a heavy collision. No damage to us. Um... We do manage to hold on to that position. So we're now P5. It's Stroll up in front. So Stroll's actually holding up Verstappen. Which is working out well for us. Whereas we go back and we just take a look at this collision with Signs here. So Signs, uh, we locked up a bit. And Signs just turned in on us. And you can see the damage there. Yep, that front left end plate on his uh, front wing uh, just came right off. Uh, after that collision with um, our front right wheel. So... That's uh, unfortunate for Signs, uh, but it does help us out because now he's going slow and he's holding up everyone behind him. So it means that we are now out of danger of being passed at this point. Um, and thanks to uh, him pulling us along and also thanks to Stroll slowing down Verstappen. We're now only a second behind him. It was a three second gap before and now it's only one and a half. Gasly in front of him in P2. And Perez up in P1. Right, in but these tyres, a couple of laps later, have uh, almost completely so worn. We are not getting stop. any gains from this whatsoever. We're maintaining a decent gap to Ricardo in P5. But um, Verstappen and Gasly and Perez have all just pulled away from us. It's a four second gap to Gasly now. Verstappen's pulled into P2. And he's now uh, sitting pretty in the points. There's still a decent gap between him and Perez, so hopefully Perez can hold on and take the win here, uh, and that will limit the amount of points that Verstappen can get. Um, of course, I would love to be able to get a win here. Uh, it's all going to come down to this pit stop, and a very quick pit stop onto the mediums, and now we're in our element. The mediums are definitely uh, my favourite tyre. I feel most comfortable on them. I've put in um, plenty of fastest laps, on the mediums versus when I'm on the softs and we've actually come out in a really good position we are 
Um, we're P11, so in terms of the um, drive, the, the grid standings, it's not a great position, but we're actually out in um, open track. We didn't have to come out and fight with anyone in turn one, so we're able to just come out and comfortably rejoin the race. No one holding us up, and we can uh, basically just warm these tyres up this lap and uh, start finding our groove. And hopefully we can use that to start gaining on the guys at the front. They will have to be coming in for another pit stop uh, very soon, maybe this lap or the, or the next lap possibly. Uh, and I would assume that if I'm going onto mediums, they will also be going onto uh, medium compound tyres as well. Lap 17 now, we've managed to catch up to Russell. And so we're going to gain DRS on him here. Leclerc is 10 seconds ahead. That front pack, uh, is, well it's split into two bits, into two parts, two separate groups. And they are well ahead of us. But they all have to make another pit stop. So hopefully we can make quick work of Russell here. And then get uh, in within striking range of uh, the top group up the front. Um... And judging by the mini map, it looks like a couple of drivers are in. Uh, I assume that's Max and uh, so they'd be Verstappen and Gasly heading into the pits. Uh, some of the next group are also heading in. Schumacher is heading into the pits. Hopefully onto medium compound tyres as well. He's been running a pretty good race so far. Hopefully he can bring home some points today. And we are just riding the slipstream of Russell. And uh, up the road, looks like Max and Gasly have both come out of the pit lane right now but we're going to have a much faster line heading into turn one here myself and, and George Russell and so I don't know if we really gained much on Max but we have gained some time on Gasly only one and a half seconds to Gasly now and we're looking to use the DRS and go around the outside of Russell he opens the door and lets us through but then he makes a really tight move to try and get around in front of us uh, at that left hander but we managed to push our way back in front and we've now moved up into P4 oh a big lock up there and the time that we did gain uh, we did lose some of that there so we were in a good position there to really uh, make some gains uh, on the top group here a good lap time there on the mediums only uh, oh, less than two tenths of a second behind our current fastest lap uh, missed the apex here at turn one again and it's a very hard corner to hit the apex isn't actually where the curve is the apex is actually slightly before it so you really have to judge that corner um, a bit different to most of the corners on uh, some of the tracks in this game so that's one I'm still not used to uh, but we are now well clear of uh, Bottas who is now in P5 six and a half seconds down the road to him so if we can just maintain a decent pace, uh, top four finish is not um, outside of the realm of possibility. But we are having some trouble maintaining a line here and gaining uh, time on the top three. As we uh, take a look at the aerial view here, and it looks it almost looks professional from up here how well we're hitting these lines. But um, we just. We're just having some trouble with the consistency and maintaining that momentum uh, throughout the laps. Another another slight lock up there on the mediums. But they're holding up pretty well. They still feel really good. We're now right behind Gasly. So Verstappen is still uh, almost three seconds ahead, but Gasly has dropped behind a bit. Two tenths, uh, four tenths now to get to Gasly. Looking to hopefully make some moves on him. Uh, or at least use his slipstream to try and pull us ahead um, and get up into the top three, up onto the podium. But again, consistency is our biggest enemy. We were right there with him and then we just missed that left-hander, that second to last corner. And now he's pulled away. He's now eight tenths ahead of us when it was only four tenths a few corners back. Verstappen, three and a half seconds now. It was only 2.8 before. He's gained six tenths. We've missed the apex at turn one again. And Gasly... Uh, luckily we are managing to stay within DRS range to him or at least we were and now we're out of it having to use our battery quite a lot to um, try and maintain some pace and keep up with these guys but it just isn't really working out for us we've got about six and a half laps left to go and 
it's looking like uh, an uphill battle for us to uh, get further up the order here. Bottas is seven and a half seconds behind us now, so we have gained about a second on him uh, in the last, uh, I guess, few laps since we last mentioned his time. So being overtaken at this point is not uh, not a big worry of mine. But we are nearing the end of this race. It is lap 26 or 28, so we're, we've got three laps left. Verstappen is well clear of us. I really want to be able to get ahead of Gasly, get onto the podium. Those extra few points will help us out. But now it looks like uh, Verstappen is gaining on Perez, and he moves out to make the overtake, heading into the right hand at the end of the DRS zone, and Verstappen manages to make the move stick and has now moved up into p1 i don't know if that was uh team orders creeping in there asking perius to give that position back but now max is sitting pretty in p1 perius is still right behind them but he's five seconds up the road from me gas is two seconds up the road from me i've got two laps to try and make something happen here perius and verstappen are probably too far gone at this point uh, Gasly, there's still a chance we could gain on him, but with our um, current performance, our current consistency, uh, it's going to be a, a very tough battle. Um, hopefully Perez can make a move, uh, maybe take a position back from Verstappen. Um, I mean, the difference between P1 and, and P2 is 7 points. That's a huge number of points at this point in the season, considering there's only... Uh, a two point difference between myself and Verstappen heading into the final DRS zone for this race and Gasly is three seconds ahead so all we can really do now is consolidate P4 Gasly is too far away from uh, the two Red Bulls to make anything happen there Perez is still in with a chance to get ahead of Verstappen but unless he can make the move in the next few corners uh, it's not looking good for our uh, championship hopes um, at this point. Last few corners to go. We go wide. Doesn't really make much of a difference at this point. Gasly four seconds ahead. Bottas is still six seconds behind us. So I'm not too worried about it at this point. As you can see on the mini-map there, the two Red Bulls heading around the final corner across the line. Max Verstappen takes the win here at the Circuit of the Americas. And we bring home P4, the first time we haven't been on the podium in quite a while. So uh, a little bit disappointing um, that Max has uh, gained so many points on us, but uh, pretty happy with the performance considering uh, my track record here. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. So, happy days for the Red Bull team. A 1-2 for them. Gasly gets P3, gets on the podium this race, which helps with uh, points for his championship hopes. Um, P4 for us. So we do come away with 12 points. Verstappen, on the other hand, gaining the full 26 from this race. Uh, a 136 for his fastest lap. Myself and Norris uh, and Ricardo, by the looks things, the only other drivers, oh, and Leclerc as well, um, getting in the 136s. Uh, Schumacher finishing P9, so he brings back two points as well. But Red Bull gaining maximum points this race. As we take a look at the standings now, Max jumps back into P1, he's 12 points ever. So 12 points, still not a massive mountain to climb, but only three races left. And uh, Max is probably going to have uh, quite a good run in those races. Always does well at the end of the season, so that's going to be tough 
uh, to combat that one. 63 points, the difference in the constructors' standings. Not, uh, we're not outside of the realm of possibility in terms of winning the constructors' championship, but Schumacher is going to have to put in some uh, mighty performances in these last three races if we're going to have any hope of claiming uh, the constructors this season. But our main concern is the drivers' championship. There's only three races left in this season. And I would like to uh, win the Drivers' Championship before I uh, finish playing this game uh, at the time of recording this. Um, I did record the race quite a while ago, uh, but I am doing the commentary on this uh, on the day that, I do believe it's the day that F1 2023, or F1 sorry, um, is uh, coming out. Uh, I didn't play F122, but I do really want to play F123. So I'm going to try and uh, finish off the series really quickly and then jump straight into F123. Uh, so with three episodes left uh, in this career mode journey to go, hopefully we can come away with the Drivers' Championship, uh, finish on a high before we head into the new game. So that brings us to the end of the uh, US Grand Prix weekend P4 12 points Max jumping back into P1 uh, Red Bull still dominating the constructors they got a 1-2 today which helps uh, put one hand on the uh, constructors championship hopefully we can claw some points back in the next race if you did enjoy this video please leave a like let me know in the comments what you thought uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it will really help me out and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode where we're heading off to the Brazilian Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. One of, uh, one of my favorite tracks. Quite a technical track, uh, but I'll probably have more fun there than I had on this one. Hopefully we can get some more points there and put more pressure on Max. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.